any tips for making YouTube videos? So I can try to give some advice regarding creating YouTube videos. I do have a YouTube channel. I don't know if you guys know, but this is my YouTube channel that I was showing y'all. I post every other day on there, etc., etc. The biggest thing about YouTube, the trifecta that we really want to focus on, or not even the trifecta, the two things that you really want to focus on on YouTube, your thumbnail and your title. I don't care how good your video is. If your thumbnail sucks and your title sucks, you can't get people to click on your video. So you're not going to get views. You need to go and debate people into clicking on the video. You can have a super shit video. Like your video could utterly suck, but if your thumbnail and if your title are good, you're going to get clicks on your video, which will then get people to watch it. Even if they leave immediately, it's gonna bump you up in the numbers because you're getting those clicks in there. So the biggest thing, focus on the title and the thumbnail, exactly. A lot of big YouTubers say, if they can't come up with a good thumbnail and a good title idea, they won't even make the video. When you're approaching creating YouTube videos, and okay, I know I'm a hypocrite, I don't do it this way, but for me, I use my YouTube as a way to like direct people if they have questions. If they're like, how can I set up my OBS? I'm like, I have a video. How can, how can I do this? I'm like, I have a video. Like my YouTube, I use it as like a source of just kind of making my life easier so I don't have to re-explain things. But a lot of content creators basically have this idea that you shouldn't even make a YouTube video if you can't come up with a good thumbnail idea and a good title. You need to come up with a thumbnail and the title first before you even make the video. Because again, if you can't get people to click on your video, you're not going to get views no matter how amazing the video itself is. So you need to get people to click on your video first. That's the most important thing. So how do you make a good looking thumbnail? And again, take what I say with a grain of salt because I am still experimenting, working on it. My YouTube obviously needs a lot of work, but it's slow and steady, right? I basically try to convey as much information as possible in my thumbnail with as little elements and as little words as possible. So a big mistake that I see people make with their thumbnails is they put like a whole essay on their thumbnail and it's too long. No one's going to read it first off and two thumbnails are quite small. So if you have small text on there, it's very difficult to read. And the second thing is your thumbnail, you should be able to get all or gather all of the info from your thumbnail in like two seconds if it takes somebody the time to break down and analyze your video your thumbnail to figure out what's going on it's too complicated it's too convoluted another thing is try to make your thumbnail clickbaity your thumbnail can serve as a great way to add more info so your title should be as clickbaity with as many keywords as possible but if you have other elements that you would like to include, like you think, oh, it's I must talk about this one element and you somehow can't fit it in your title, you can just put it in the thumbnail to provide that extra context and the extra clickbait. So for me, like this sponsorship video I made where it says you can get sponsorships, I my thought process behind this was, oh, I wanted to make the title clickbaity. So what makes it clickbaity? Well, if I put the word you and sponsorships because people care about themselves and they want to learn how they can get sponsorships. And then in the, the thumbnail, I wanted to make it clickbaity by, again, conveying that info. So I have a little chat box, but I put Nintendo, a big brand. I was trying to clickbait with a big brand's name to throw that up in there. It is true, actually. I've had Nintendo competitors reach out to me for sponsorships. So same shit, basically, right? But so it's actually not false. The biggest thing about clickbait also is there, there should be a half truth to it. Don't just lie completely in the clickbait. You'll lose the trust of your community and no one will want to watch your content anymore. But yeah, and then like adding visual intrigue in here. So here again with these like this Twitch panel tutorial, free Twitch panel tutorial with Adobe Express, the way I structured this title, I wanted free in the beginning. I wanted that to debate people in, it is true, but um, like free art tutorial or like how you can make this art piece for free always draws people in. So I put the word free first. Twitch is a keyword. Twitch is a banger word that hooks people in. I put Twitch second. So I ordered it that way. So the most important words are in the beginning of my title. And then just to re-emphasize, I put the words for free in my thumbnail to convey info. But there's also very little elements in this thumbnail. It's me, it's the two panels, it's 
like two words and it's a logo that's it does length of video matter not quite honestly as long as you have a good video like don't add extra info so or don't force yourself to draw out the video but a lot of people are under the misconception that oh i need my video to be eight to ten minutes long or now the theory is eight to 14 minutes long and that's the only way it gets in the algorithm. So I will force myself to go and drag on the video until eight minutes. No, it's better just to have a shorter but good video than an eight minute shitty video. So if you cannot like ideally make it like eight minutes, you know, but if you can't make it eight minutes, it's fine. Just whatever length you need to make it to convey all the info without having a bunch of dead space.